Okay, I just want to do a video on this. Um, I don't know the name of it. It's the uh, Revel Nail Chrome Nail um, Bundle. I got a kind of a generic white box, and then this sticker that's on it says Glazed Chrome Bundle. But in the listing, I can't find where it actually says Glazed Chrome Bundle. But I know this is the stuff. Not these nail polishes back here, but the stuff that's in it is what's in the, the set. Now, um, I'm going to show you what all's in here. Like I said, it was just kind of a... And I've gotten quite a few of um, Revel Nails um, kits. And they're all in really nice boxes. So I was quite surprised to just get this kind of generic box there. Um, my... Like this one here um, that comes in the box. This is Lotus. It's a um, very, very light pink... Um, jelly kind of it's a sheer very sheer um, and that comes in this kit and then you have this one which is it says dip powder but it didn't have it didn't have any sticker and I could see I might be able to show them to you remnants of where there was a sticker like this one because the sticker is quite big there was a sticker here at some point but it ain't there no more and I, ha I like to have never found out the name of this. I, and all kinds of search. There's no information in the box. Nothing to tell you how to use the stuff. Um, it was quite agitating. Now you do get the, the dip powder liquid set. And it doesn't really tell you. It doesn't tell you how to do it either. It just tells you what it is in the process. Um, there's no instructions whatsoever. So if you don't know how to do uh, dip nails... And my concern was this sparkly stuff that's supposed to provide the chrome effect. Um, kind of for the glaze look that they're going for that's kind of the trend now. Um, you get a dip gel thinner. Uh, the finishing gel, which is your top coat. I guess they word it like that to make it look seem a little fancy. And this is number two. I, I can't remember what the... Probase, maybe? Oh, it's the activator. Duh. I didn't, it just didn't turn it around far enough. So this is your activator. And this is the number one, which is your probase, which is your base coat. So I'm not going to show you how to do dip nails today. My, I'm going to show you how to do the dip, the chrome dip. Um, now you can treat this as a dip powder. It'll look different than it does as a chrome, uh, a rubbed in chrome. And uh, you can you can have it on your uh, nails, and it'll it'll probably look kind of sparkly, closer to this, with a slight yellowish tint. And my my thing on this wasn't, uh, it was partially open too. And I did have some stuff around the sides there like that. So I don't know. I don't know. I've never gotten boxes like this from Revel Nail. I've got quite a bit of their kits um, and dips. So I've, it's never come looking like this before. No information, no nothing. Um, anyways... This is called Halo, and this is a little sparkly stuff for the chrome. And like I said, that's Lotus. That's the kind of a clear-looking, sheer, very, very light pink. Now, and you also get this um, tack-free tack gel top coat. This is what you need for this kit to be able to use this as a chrome. So, um, I already did a, uh, these right here. And I've got these sitting back here because uh, I just wanted to show you what I had. Now this one right here is like a milky white. It's kind of kind of an off white, but it's a milky white. It's like two coats of this. It's very sheer. And this is called Moonlight and China Gray Glaze. Just so you can look at them in case you like liked a specific look. And uh, you know, this is Kamana Fever. It's just a regular white. There's two two coats of that on there, and I'll pull that up to you closer after I show you the 
colors. And this is Spring Jungle China Glaze. Um, so there, there is the look for those. Hmm. Let's see if I can get this to look a little different with my lighting. Man, the video is really not doing this stuff justice. But this stuff gives you that nice um, kind of glazed look that's been trending lately. Um, let's turn this off and see if I can get some of that look. It has a pink, but it also has that... Um, kind of pink, kind of green um, shimmer. Yeah, it's not... I'll add some pictures, too, to my review. Because I can usually get the pick to show the, the, the way it looks. So, uh... Anyways, um... You see those scratches in it. I accidentally did that with the, um... black part on this. So... Just be careful when you're rubbing it on not to get that close to it and scratch it because what you do is after you've done your dip, you don't necessarily have to do dip. I didn't do the dip with this. So your dip is a totally different process than what I'm going to show you with this um, to use it as a chrome. Um, and you take this after you've done out whatever you're going to do with your nails, dip, whatever. You apply this this uh, tack free top coat on it and this takes about 30 seconds to cure fully so you're going to have to be precise in how long you put that in in your um, lamp to cure you can't cure it fully it, and I like to have never found some directions for this I hit some by accident somewhere I think on uh, I finally had to get on Revel's nail site and I found something accidentally, but it wasn't for this particular stuff here. It was just for some of their other chromes. Anyways, you put this on there. Make sure you cover your entire nail when you're putting it on your nail. And cover your entire nail because it's only going to stick to wherever this is, just like gel polish does, you know. Or if you're going to do any kind of uh, chrome. Um, put it in the in here for 15 seconds and that's what this particular brand that was that was the information with any other cure it only half the time I would say I would say um, and I will try one other um, while we're here to so we can see if this will work with any other top coat we'll see but you then you and it says to dip this like if you're doing it on your finger um, dip your finger in it and then bring it back out and then take this and rub it in rub you know rub it in really good I'm gonna show you on those and but I didn't I didn't dip these in it I just put I just dip the tip of this in it and then you I was able to do a whole nail with just that amount but you can do it whichever way you want to dip your finger in or just put some on this and then rub it all over your finger your nail but anyways after you do that you put it back in for another 15 seconds to let that bottom part cure fully for the rest of the way. Oh, I forgot that I, I hadn't uh, cured that. Stinky. And after you've put your um, chrome on your, your nail, you know, and then you put it back in there for another 15 seconds, then you're going to get it back out and then you're going to put another coat of this um, tack free top coat on there over the actually after you put this on here take your uh, uh, brush and dust away any excess before you put your top coat on there I must have hit that one too but I'm going to put that one in there and let it cure so um, then you after you let that cure for 15 seconds, we'll go. We'll do it on here, and you can see it better. Because I think I'm. I hope I'm not. not um, this stuff is very pretty. Uh, 
of course video is not doing it justice man in real life you can see a little pink and uh, bluish pink and green shimmers the blue doesn't necessarily come out in the in the look but the you can see some the pink green and uh, depending on the color it's going to change also um, for this white you can kind of see some yellow but you can't see it that that well in the let me go in further so you can kind of see that white and green in there um, you're not seeing a lot of the pink that it actually does show like it would with glazed nails this one the, the regular white two coats of regular white I like the best it, you get that you see a lot of the pink in that and then there you have you know a light green well a pastel green okay now we're gonna do these three together so um, so I can show you exactly how to do it and we'll put the lid on that for now so I don't make a mess let me scroll out some sorry about that I dusted those off before I put my um... now pretend these are done and you have your dip pot dips you know whatever you're gonna use gels whatever you don't necessarily have to use have dip underneath to use this stuff though that's what this kit is you know geared for do this underneath um, and you're gonna have kind of a light pink oh yeah I meant to show you this right here is a uh, very light pink similar to what you're gonna have from this it's a this one here is uh the beige of reason it's just a kind of a very light pink looking and you've got a nice mauve here and this is a opi um, pink on canvas and then this one here this light pink is uh fresh picked from um koki and this was an opi infinite shine but you probably can find that in regular OPI but I'm not sure and a lot of these you can these kind of colors you can find in pretty much any um, brand you know just these are this is going to look different depending on what you put it over but I, I got this one here because it's going to look similar to this one here when you have the dip put on your nails and it's you know you put your other stuff on there and it's dry fully dried and ready to put this on over it Then after you've got your nails done with a dip, whatever, put a light coat of this on it. Make sure you've cured, I mean, uh, covered all of the edges and everything. Just like you would a gel top coat. That's pretty much what this is. It's a gel top coat. You mess with it a whole lot. See where I rubbed it a lot, and now I've got bubbles in there. So now I'm gonna have to work the bubbles out. I'll let it sit for just a minute, and let it uh, level out and pop those bubbles. They usually pop on their own. Okay, we're gonna set that to the side. Now, after you've got that top coat put on there, this um, tack free gel top coat. 15 seconds in here. I'm not going to pause you. I'm just going to leave it on. Now 
remember you don't want to over cure it 15 seconds is it because you only want it half cured and you're going to take your um, halo And this is all I did. I, I'm going to bring you in a little bit further. I'm sorry, I'm left-handed here. So all I did was touch it. Remember, this is not fully cured, so... That's what it's using to uh, grab onto that gel. And if you didn't get enough on there, you can stick a little more on. I tried my finger. Um, if you notice in this, you can see where some of it kind of separated that little spots of silver. That's what it did whenever I used my finger to do it. They said you can use your finger, but this, this works better. So this is similar to what you're going to get with this kit and using this as your base dip, uh, you know, a couple of layers of this and then add this stuff to it. This is very similar to what you're going to get um, with this kit. But I thought I'd add a couple more colors, you know, just so you, you can see some. Like I said, it's going to look different on any color you put under it. I can add more, but it's it really doesn't make a difference. You can only get so much on there. Once you get too much on there, it's going to start pushing it around, see? So you're just kind of wasting it at that point. This nail is a little bit bigger than the others. Sorry if I'm mouth breathing. Uh, my sinuses stay stopped up, kind of uh, congested, and it's just. Sorry if that's. if you're hearing that. So you just kind of burnish it in. There's not really much else you need to do to it. Um, let me stick this back on there before I. Make a mess. Now, I'm not comparing any of these nail polishes. I just wanted to show you, you know, give you some other colors to show you what this stuff will look like under here. And this one here is what it's going to look like. And I'm going to take a brush and dust, dust that excess off. Now, at this point, you put it back in there for 15 more seconds and finish curing. They are really pretty. But with that pink one that's curing right now, that's that's the s closest to the the you know that glaze look that's trending, you know, and you see it everywhere. So uh, that's pretty close to what you're going to get with this kit if you use the full kit, you know, and and do use this. Now this this stuff, you know, like I said, you can use this as a dip too. It won't have that. Um, chrome look. It'll probably just be a white with some a slight yellow look and sparkles. 
I couldn't find a picture of it done without the chrome looks. I don't know what it looks like. Whoops, it's just talking there. Overcooked it. <laughs> Make sure you dust it off really good before you put your top coat over it again. That is really pretty. Remember this was the Koki. This was that mauve OPI um, pink on canvas. And then the uh, beige of reason, which is a really, really light sheer pink. Now, once you've done that, you go back in put another coat and this is going to be your final make sure you cover, cover your whole nail because if you leave any uncovered it's going to wash off when you like when you wash your hands or whatever later if you've left any any of your nail uncovered like an edge or an area it's gonna just the chrome parts gonna wash off so you need to make sure you get um, all the areas that the chrome is on under and above it now you can cross contaminate Let's see if it'll show that little bit of glitter that was in there So uh, that's why it's very important for you to dust those things off. Um, I can't get that stuff to show. But there is some glitter in there. You can probably see some of that little sparkles there when I'm turning it. I can see it in the camera. But it'd be even worse if you don't dust it off. wipe out here and wipe it off. Let's see if I can get a little bit of that excess off there before I put it back in. Now let's uh, cure this for 30 seconds. And while we're doing that, I'm going to get... One more nail out. Let's see. Uh, what did I do with those nails? Bear with me, man. I'm gonna get another fake nail here. I'm not gonna paint it or anything. I'm just gonna use another top coat on it. And then, um,. See if this stuff will uh, work on another top coat. Because supposedly, I mean, well, I don't know about this one, but supposedly these are supposed to be making enough to do 50 nails, which would be, no, 50 manicures. Uh, I can't remember. It was a lot. And this one, the way it, this, if you do it with this, like this, it's going to be a whole lot. So. You're going to run out of this way long after you would this. So you still got a bunch of that. Um, very pretty. Very pretty there. I didn't let that one uh, sit long enough. And I got a little, some bubbles in it. But very pretty. Really nice. I wish it showed more of the pink. It's really pretty. So this is close to what you're going to get with what um, with this kit. Close to it. Alright. Let me get another one here. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not comparing gel coats. I'm just seeing if another top coat... 
another no wipe top coat will work with it in case you have a whole bunch of this and you run out of your other your stuff there Tiny nail. Alright, I'm gonna stick this in there. I can't remember how long it takes that one to do. We'll do this one for 15 seconds too. Now don't leave your gel polishes um, open around your. Th um, lamps while they're on because it could accidentally cure it. Uh, I actually went 16 or 17 seconds there but we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it does. This is not comparing gel polishes or anything. This is just in case oh man, I'm gonna get that stuff all over the place. I'm gonna be klutz. This is just in case you run out of your polish and you've got a ton of that left. It looks like it does work. Now this is with the no, was I off the camera there? So it will work with other top coats. If you happen to run out, run out of that top coat before you do this. So it looks like it will. I'm not gonna touch that. And I'll put it in there for another 15 seconds. That one takes about 30 seconds too. I hope I've helped somebody here. I know the video is uh, quite long. But it does, it does work with other top coats. No white top coats. As long as you do it like this, I guess. Put it in there, uh, cured it halfway, cured the top coat halfway, put it on there, and then use the top coat again. I'm going to use the other top coat again. Actually, I've got one over here that I've used with pigments because I don't want to get pigments in that one. I'm going to use this one with pigments. Just so I'm not contaminating so many bottles. It does work. So if you run out, if you buy your kit and you run out of uh, top coat, it does work. It's really pretty actually on its own too. I'm going to put that in there for 30 seconds. Let that cure. So, yeah. After you do your nails, put a coat of this on. Cure it for 15 seconds. Uh, do this the way I did it on there. Use your thing. It says to dip it in, but you can use this as you've seen me do. Um, then put it back in the lamp, cure it for the other, the rest of the 15 seconds, brush it off, brush off the excess, and then put your, um, put your top coat on there again and cure it for 30. That's with this one. 15, 15, and 30. Very nice. So if you do run out of uh, gel top coat, 
this kind. Let's take it off of that um, sticky stuff there. Very pretty, even by itself. So it does work with other gel top coats. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry it was so long. I hope it helped you. Um, see you in the next one.